You call the pizza man and the pizza is on the way. It's on the way. It's not here yet, but it's on the way. It's ordered. It's paid for. The driver is nearing the house. You can follow it on those apps now, you know. He's on this street now. He's coming. He's coming. And you wait for it with eager expectation. If you're like me, you check out the window four, five, six times before it comes. And while I'm waiting, I don't eat. I tell my gnawing hungry just my gnawing hunger just a little bit longer, and you get pizza. So just wait. Don't stuff your mouth with junk food. Well, I guess pizza is junk food, isn't it? Uh, but I don't snack. I don't gorge on leftovers. I tell my gnawing hunger just a little while, and you get pizza. So it is with God's promises. It is as if the delivery is already at the door and you can smell the pizza and you're about to take your first bite. So sure are the promises of God and you have to believe them. You have to believe the promises of God for the future. You have to believe not I can achieve it, but God already has. God has already achieved it and God has already promised. So our, our waiting is an active, joyful, confident waiting. It is a waiting in faith. Since we have these promises, 2 Corinthians 7, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. So in between the times, between the beginning of our salvation and the fullness of salvation, we wait with eager expectation. We don't wait expecting nothing. Uh, there are some people who just groan inwardly and that's all they do is groan. They don't groan eagerly with patience waiting for the fullness. Um, how many of you order a pizza and then don't expect it to come? You, you expect it to come. And if it doesn't come now, you're going to follow it up. You're going to drive all the way to the restaurant to get that pizza. But the promise is certain. So we're not lazy or lethargic while we wait for this promise. But we don't expect everything now either. We don't expect everything now either. There are so many people looking for a perfect church. It doesn't exist here. So you're going to be looking forever. But an imperfect church on its way to perfection is here. And you can be part of it. Do you know why? Because you're imperfect too. So we don't expect everything now. We don't expect perfection from other Christians. But we do expect great things because we have a great God. We don't expect perfection in a church. We don't expect total victory in this life because we live in between the times, between the time of our, the presence of our salvation and the fullness of our salvation. If you know for certain something is going to happen in the future, it changes the way you live today. 